Hello and welcome to the next tutorial by Prebomics. In this tutorial I will show you how to perform an analysis of a steady state heat transfer involving radiation. The problem is based on the NAFEMS benchmark. Let's create a new model first. This will be 3D mass space and the default unit system. And now I will import the geometry. And as you will see the geometry is very simple in this case. It's just a cylindrical bar. Uh, actually the cross section uh, doesn't really matter, uh, what matters is only the length of the bar, uh, so it could be modeled in two dimensions as well, but for this analysis I chose uh, three dimensions. Uh, so let's create a mesh, uh, I will mesh this, uh, I will specify the, the meshing parameters first, uh, this will be one and a half uh, millimeters for the maximum element size, and now I will uh, mesh the uh, part. The mesh is ready, so let's uh, proceed to the analysis setup. Uh, now I will define the uh, material properties. Uh, in this case, we are talking about steady state heat transfer analysis, so just we just need the thermal uh, conductivity. And the value is uh, given here, uh, so that's what we need to uh, specify uh, in, in this window. Let's confirm this. Now I'll create a new section, apply it to the uh, model and uh, this is uh, ready. Now uh, I just have to define a new analysis step. This will be a heat transfer step with steady state turned on. And uh, when it comes to boundary conditions and loads, mm, one end of the bar uh, will be subjected to a fixed temperature. Uh, so let's maybe rotate this and I will specify fixed temperature for this end. And the value will be, uh, you can see uh, that the value right here, 1000 uh, kelvins. Uh, actually, I can input this uh, this way and uh, Propomax will convert the unit, uh, so it's quite a really handy uh, way of uh, entering uh, values. Uh, this is uh, the boundary condition for the left uh, end, and now for the right end uh, I will specify uh, radiation load. Uh, we'll use this one for the first time. Uh, in the tutorials, uh, let's define a radiation load uh, for this uh, surface here. And what we need to specify is uh, sink temperature or ambient temperature and emissivity. And uh, looking at the uh, sheet with analytical solution, you can see that uh, the ambient temperature is uh, 300K. Uh, so let's uh, define this here. Again, I will uh, convert the units automatically using Prepomex's capabilities uh, in this regard. And now I have to specify the emissivity. Uh, this is the, the value uh, right uh, here. So that's the emissivity. Uh, all right. Mm, so. You could think that the analysis setup is ready because we have the mesh, material properties, step and uh, boundary condition and load. Uh, but one uh, thing is missing. When we use radiation for uh, analysis, we have to uh, take care about physical constants. Uh, so we have to go to model, uh, edit uh, its properties and uh, here you can specify the absolute zero. Uh, temperature mm, and uh, we, of course it depends on the units that we use in this case we use uh, Celsius degrees uh, so mm, that's the, the value that we need for absolute zero uh, and uh, then we need to specify the Stefan Boltzmann constant, constant uh, and we can check the value that uh, is assumed in the NAFEMS benchmark uh, we just need to adjust it uh, a little bit uh, but uh, this is pretty much what we uh, need to use for this analysis uh, just the unit is different, so so uh, here's a, a slightly different unit than uh, used in Prepomex, but it's not a problem at all, uh, because we can uh, conv this will be uh, properly defined with, with proper exponent. Uh, all right, so let's uh, cl confirm this, and now I can submit the analysis. The analysis is already uh, completed, and I can check the results. So let's open the results and. And now we are interested in the temperature uh, on this side because here we applied radiation uh, load uh, and we are interested in temperature uh, in this location where a radiation load acts. Uh, so mm, let's check the uh, sheet with cal analytical uh, calculations. Uh, here you can see the equations. Uh, I used Maxima plugin in uh, SMAF uh, to calculate this, uh, and you can see that equation because of the um, the right side involving uh, radiation, and uh, you can see that this equation becomes uh, quite complex. Uh, it's a fourth order polynomial, uh, so mm, in this case we have we obtained uh, four solutions, with one being negative, uh, two being uh, imaginary. Uh, numbers, uh, so uh, of course uh, we are interested only in this solution because this is the only uh, physically uh, meaningful solution. 
Uh, so I converted this value uh, to Celsius degrees because that's what we obtained in Prepomex. And now let's check the um, value that we obtained uh, in this location. We can also use the shortcut for, uh, for query and we can check the uh, temperature, for example, here and compare this with uh, what we uh, expect according to the analytical solution. As you can see, the agreement is very good and uh, we can say that the benchmark was uh, completed successfully in Prepomex uh, with uh, Calculex. Uh, all right, uh, that's it for, the pre for this Prepomex tutorial. Thank you very much for your attention. Uh, as always, feel free to ask any questions and suggest topi topics for future tutorials in the comments. Have a nice day and see you in the next video.